Hi, it's Linda from Homestead by the Lake. So today, peaches. Okay, so all we need to do is you decide how you want your peaches in your jar. Let's see, that's not gonna work. Hold on. How do you want your peaches in your jar? Do you want them diced? Do you want them sliced? Do you want them halved? Whatever you want, it's your decision. What, oh, I need my peeler, hold on. So you also can, um, an easy way to get the peach peel off is to blanch them in boiling water for a minute and it loosens up the skin and then put them into cold water, ice water, and then it, the skins come right off. Or you can just like I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna use a peeler and peel them. And I am sifting the skins because I am going to make some peach juice with these skins. Don't throw them away. You can make a nice juice with them. You just add some water and simmer the peels and you get a beautiful juice. So I'm gonna do that today too. So what I decided is I want to do slices. And that's what I'm gonna to do today. And this is called the cold pack method because my jars are not hot, my peaches are not cooked, these are raw peaches. cut out as much as the little, um, the pink area as you can. And I'm gonna slice them like this, about like that. And I'm just going to start to fill my jar. And just pack them in your jar loosely. You don't want to, um, you know, push them down or pack them tight. Just throw them in there. And make sure you got all your skin. Don't leave any skin. And cut out any bad parts that you might see. See that? And that's all I'm gonna keep doing. These, these peaches from South Carolina, let me tell you, they are gorgeous. South Carolina is really not that far from me. I should drive down. <laughs> And get more peaches but our one of our grocery stores here had these on sale um, $1.48 a pound and I couldn't resist and the produce man said do you want me to go get you a box in the back I'm like oh yes please <laughs> so we got a nice fresh box of peaches I was thrilled skins. If you leave the pink um, in your jars by mistake, you might have a little bit of discoloration to your water, but it's not going to hurt anything if that happens, if you miss some. It's totally fine. So what we're going to do is we are going to water bath can these peaches and they are going to go on my shelf. I 
and I just went through my preserved items and I actually found two jars of peaches that I had preserved in uh, June of 2022. Now those are still good as long as your seal is not broken. Your fruit's fine. So I am excited to have that. I don't know what I'm gonna do with it yet. Oh, there's a little bad part. All right, how many peaches was that? Was that really only two peaches? That was two peaches to fill my pint jar. How nice was that? I need a towel. So now what I'm going to do in the jar, you can can your, pe your peaches in any sort of syrup that you want. You, you can make a light syrup. You can make a um, heavy syrup. You can do no syrup. And that's what I've decided to do. My ones in 2022, here they are. I did these in a um, light syrup. And I'm gonna do these in water. That way I can use the peaches for anything. And if I want to make a peach cobbler, if I want to make peach pie, um, then you, you have nice fresh peaches throughout the winter to use for any of your recipes. So that's what I decided to do. I also need to get a little tablespoon. So I am going to add one teaspoon of lemon juice and you want to use when you are canning you want to make sure you're not using chlorinated water so I am going to fill this with, I'm using spring water and I need my debubbler remove any bubbles in your jar that might actually be too much I'm gonna put that over in another jar there we go there's my first jar I'm going to get a fresh lid because you can't reuse your lids. And I have, um, and then put a band on, finger tight. And I'll show you how we do that. And then we'll get them ready for the canner. So this is what I'm gonna be doing. And I will be back when I'm done. And you can see the rest of the process. Oh my goodness, they're so good.
Are you still there? Maddie, what are you barking at? What are you growling at? Huh? Something out there? Is there a kitty? Yeah. You be nice. He's a friend. Is he out there? <gasps> Does he want a treat, do you think? Is he out there? Maddie wants a treat. Can you hear? Don't shoot. Do you want a treat? Take a quick break. See if that's our friendly neighborhood kitty if she wants a treat. And Maddie wants a treat. And then we'll come back and finish those up. Okay, we're back, all clean. Nope, kitty. So I don't know what she was complaining for. Maddie, go lay down, please. Thank you. You can go eat your breakfast, Mad Pie. She doesn't want to. I think she's thinking something's gonna fall from the table that she wants. You know, I don't know if she likes peach. But her spot is always under the table when we happen to be at the table. She's like, oh, there might be food. She's a spoiled girl. Oh, excuse you, Maddie. I guess that was a good, a good one, huh? Do you see these peaches? They are absolutely perfect. I got the 25 pound box from the produce guy. Do you know, there was nothing wrong with not even one peach. Every single peach, perfect. You know, I was expecting some problems in there, but nope. They were beautiful. And they're juicy 
and the flavor is just really good. I have three peaches left. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I don't think I can fit nine in my canner. Um, but let me see what, we'll, what we can fit. Because I have three left. I could do another jar if I need to. There's all my skins. Um, let me go wash my hands. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna wipe all the rims and we're gonna put our lids and our rings on and then they will go in the canner. And I'll be right back. Okay, we are finishing up. So what we're gonna do now is you take your jar and you wipe the rim real good. Some people use vinegar to wipe the rim. Um, I am just using water. And then you want a new lid and your ring. Finger tight. All right, so we are cleaning the rim. Make sure there's nothing left on it. A new lid and a ring, finger tight. And there we go, that goes in our canner. And you want water above your jars, at least an inch. And once it comes up to a boil for this size jar, a pint, it's 25 minutes. Finger tight, in we go. Looks like we could use a smidgen more water. And you can reuse your rings, but you cannot reuse a lid. And it goes. So this is how simple it is to can your own fruit for the winter. It really is a simple process, isn't it? And canning and preserving is something I've always wanted to do. And I never had the courage to do it. I've I think I probably felt it was too complicated and or I was too scared to do it. I'm just gonna turn on right. There we go. But the first time I went ahead and did it, and realized what was I so nervous about. It's just so much fun now, you know? If you've always wanted to can, I would do it. You know, do your research, read all your, 
your, your uh, ball books of preserving and canning. Watch videos of people who do do it. And just gain the knowledge. Because if you always wanted to do it, you'd probably be really good at it. That's my thinking. Okay, so I can fit one, two, three, four, five, six. I can fit seven jars in my canner. So these, because these are um, raw packed, because they're raw packed, these can sit right here and wait for the next canner, which I will get out my other one and get that going. And then I am gonna finish up those three pears, or peaches that I have. I keep saying pears. You know why I keep saying pears? Because I just got done with pear season and I canned 146 pounds of pears. Yeah, so I have pears on the mind. All right, look at how beautiful those are, right? Okay, so those in the jar, in the canner, will can for 25 minutes. And then we'll be back and I'll show you what they look like. So what you want to do is you want to wait for that. Oh, did I say that what you want to do is make sure that you have an inch or more of, of at least an inch over your jars. And it's going to come up to a hard boil. And when that does, we will start our timer for 25 minutes and we'll be back. All right. My timer has started on our peaches and I have three to do after those are done. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take all of my peels and put these in a pot. And I'm going to add Four teaspoons of lemon juice and now I'm going to add and again I don't want to use my chlorinated water I'm just going to use some spring water or if you have filter water that's great and I'm going to fill this up I'm going to need a little bit more and then this is just going to slow simmer and then I'm gonna have some peach juice. All right, my peach skins are on. I'm gonna put a lid on that and I'm just gonna let that simmer. Oh, it's gonna smell so good too. And then I have peach juice. What can I use peach juice for? I could can it if I want to. Actually, hmm, I might do that. Since I will have room with the other peaches that I have to can, or water preserve, maybe I will I will preserve it. I might do that. That's a really good idea, Linda. We'll see what we do. Our timer is done. So the only thing I'm gonna do right now is turn it off. That's all I'm going to do. It needs to come to a rest. And the best thing you want to do is to leave your jars in your water for a little bit. Um, siphoning happens when you can uh, fruits and vegetables. It just, it happens. So, and a lot of times it has to do with the difference in temperature, like a quick temperature change. So if I go in there, grab a jar, pull it out, and put it over to sit for 24 hours, I'm gonna lose, I'm gonna lose some water and it's called siphoning. Um, so I'm just gonna let them sit for a little bit and chill. And in the meantime, I'm going to, what did I just do with it? Oh, <laughs> it's right here in front of me. Um, I'm out of liquid soap. So I am going to make some hand soap with some pure Castile soap. And this is lavender. And to do your soap, oh, let me turn that off now. 
so noisy, I'm sorry. Okay, so we are going to do um, Castile soap in my jar that I saved. And to do hand soap, it's very simple. Basically, you take one part of Castile soap and the rest water. Oh, don't spill it like I just did. This stuff's precious. Okay. I did, I totally spilt it. But I'll put it on this rag and then I can do some cleaning with it. Do you know you can use Castile soap to clean items? Like you can use it to clean your laundry. You can put it in a spray bottle and clean surfaces. So I am not gonna use my tap water. I am going to use spring water. There we go. I just filled up my hand soap for pennies. All right, let's see if we can get rid of some steam and see how our juice is doing. Can you see that? See that color? Look at that juice, isn't that beautiful? So I decided I'm not going to can it because I don't want to add sugar to it. And if I were to preserve it as a juice in a water bath can, I would have to add sugar. So I really don't want to do that. I want it to be natural juice. So I am just going to put it in a mason jar when it's done. And it's only going to take like 15 minutes to cook this. And then I'm just going to let it cool and I'm going to put it in a mason jar and I'm just going to use it. Use it in my smoothies. Oh, I could use it in my overnight oats too. Leave me some comments down below. What would you use your peach juice for? Our peach juice is done. It's been cooking about 15 minutes. So now I'm going to strain it. Look at that beautiful peach color. I did decide I'm not going to preserve it. I am just going to let this cool. I'm going to put it in a mason jar and put it in the fridge. And I'm going to use this in smoothies. Oh, you know what I might do? I have kombucha ready that is ready for its second ferment. Ooh. So I might use some peach juice for that. That would be really good. And there we go. Look at that peach juice. Just from your skins of your peaches. Look at that, it's gorgeous. It doesn't have all that sugar in it. It has natural sugar just from the flavor of the peaches. And it's gonna be delicious. Don't throw away your peaches. Or don't throw away your peach skins. <laughs> right, we are going to let our peach juice just sit and cool down. And it's time to take our pears out and let's see if we lost a lot of juice. Hopefully we have not because it's been sitting and resting. Let's see. Oh look, oh look, they look very good.
the juice is all the way up to the top, so I didn't lose any juice. Look at how gorgeous those peaches are. to do because I have three jars left to do. I have to change this water because I cannot put cold jars. You cannot put cold jars into hot water. Your jars will break. Look at that. Oh, I'm thrilled. Now, of course, you have some space, like down at the bottom. Um, your peaches are now cooked, technically, right? So they're gonna shrink. Some people, I know I've seen questions about, oh no, did something happen to my peaches? Because what's all that liquid? It's totally fine. It's the way it's supposed to be. There we have it. See how simple that is to can your fruit? And now all you have to do is you have to let those jars sit overnight they have to cool down and then what you want to do is take off the ring off the top and then mark your lid peaches and the date and put them on your shelf and they don't need to go in the fridge until you want to eat some um, or till you open them other than that they can sit in your your cabinet dark space don't leave them out you want them to be protected from the sunlight and um, You've got fruit in your cabinet whenever you need it. This is Linda from Homestead by the Lake. Thank you so much for watching my peach video today. I hope you liked it.